here is a quick video that will show uh, how the application works actually it's a normal application that will run in parallel to your game so let's say this is your easy level level 7 and now we'll show the application here so normally this application is uh, placed on top of your window let's say you have this candy matrix here running and then you have to place this window on top of your game just like this so I'll open here the help uh, explanation so in order to use this application there should be a folder where placed actually in the same location as the jar file the, the executable file that they have then this EMG folder will include the small images the small pieces of image that needs to be used to identify the items so first of all in order to use this application you have to adjust the size of the transparent area to be exactly the same size of the uh, candy uh, matrix matrix so here it starts let's say from this level okay and then just you can adjust it a little bit to the left right bottom and top then we have to set the number of rows and columns so we have to count to count the number of rows 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and 9 and then the same thing for the columns then something very interesting here is that you can configure yourself any new form of a candy slice I'm calling it candy slice uh, so in the future if a new form that you, that is appearing in a new level you can configure it yourself I will show later on how it is configured so you can add it to the game and then you can start playing so this game is not only limited to Candy Crush it works even with farm heroes so all you have to do place it on top of a matrix where you have objects that needs to be similar then you can give a name to each of these objects and then the application automatically will start helping you in aligning these objects this is amazing so you don't forget an area in your matrix where you didn't really look at it or you, you forgot to check this combination or that area of the game then this is really keeping you aware of all the possibilities in your game so after doing the configuration of the application you can start the application which will start capturing this area of the screen and then comparing each of these items and it, then it will use a very uh, fast algorithm to identify all the, the possibilities and actually draw it on the screen and you can play at the same time as the application is giving you the indication and this is really an amazing application so with this one you can okay you can gain or you can, you can win more levels and you can obviously save some money as you will not lose your lives so often so let's see how the configuration is done so if you click on the settings button here you will see that uh, this application have actually done a split of all the ce uh, cells here over columns and rows and then I'm writing here the color which is green here flower here yellow blue orange red so uh, these items has already been added in a configuration phase that I have already done so if I look at it here for example if I click on the red uh, button on the red slice here I will get the name the color so that's flexible it's a two digit name here it can be a b c d anything here movable should be one or zero 
So for example, this this is a, I call this slice here as a background. So it is B G zero. It means it is not movable. And then nine, it's just you know a type to differentiate it from the others. This type will be used later on in later releases. So I will I'm, I'll be releasing more and more. Um, updates of this application and I'm planning to use this type in the future releases so then you will save the icon and this will create a file on that EMG folder and then each time that this application is running it will get new uh, all the list of files from that folder and then it will compare the slices to this folder so it's very important to do this configuration here then going back to the application I can start the execution it will take a little bit uh, okay I have time to, to identify the, the um, images and then it will be giving you the indication and this is really amazing it is printing on top of your game so like here if you are getting a red arrow it means that this is a combination of four slices so if I click on top of this small arrow here it will show me some rectangles that indicates what is going to be really consumed or sliced if I, I move this uh, to this direction so you have an arrow going top left right and uh, down so if I move this one here for example oh, it will create this slice and move this one here I will keep playing and then the arrows will be showing and this gives me you know more uh, indications why I'm playing so I can wait for, uh, I can wait for it for a few seconds to give me more indications and I can continue playing at the same time you know without waiting for it it will keep refreshing and giving me suggestions okay and this is really amazing you can never uh, miss an area of the game where you did not uh, notice that this is ah I forgot this is a good move why didn't I uh, move that way so this is really amazing so look at here for example here this blue slice here if I move it to the right side then it has a yellow arrow a yellow small triangle this means that this is a combination of blue slices in this form so I'm, I'll move it here okay you see and this is really uh, very helpful okay now I've got a nice move cool wow let's wait for a second then I can do something amazing here Okay, I'll try to, to move this one here. Let's see if I can manage to get these two in, in one place. Okay, otherwise I can keep playing around in other areas of the game. Okay, let's do it like this. Okay, no worries. That's it. Cool. So this was a quick demonstration of my Candy Crush and Farm Heroes Solver.